everyone, welcome back to the outpost. Uh, today my daughter brought some tomato plants up here that were given, I guess, to the UPS driver. Anyway, I've got a couple of cucumber plants over there that died. So in the place of those, we're going to go ahead and put three of the tomato plants. Not like that I don't have enough, um, but... We're just adding to the brood. I mean, who could deny a tomato plant called Red Chevy? Or... There's, this other tomato plant called Independence Day. There's three in one. Anyway, the other thing that I've got planned is I have a tree that I'm going to chop up um, to set posts for the pedestal that I'm going to build for the earthen oven. So I need to get those in the ground. Kind of changed up my mind. I was going to pour a slab, but I've got a big, huge tree stump that's right in the way. And I did really good to saw a section out of that big, huge tree stump to be able to set a post there. Uh, to build my pedestal so kind of had to uh, change things up think outside the box but since I'm going to build it beefy anyway it will support any kind of weight that I'm going to put on it so that's what I've got in mind to do today till she got here and she said she was going to plant these plants so I'm going to get my tools together we're going to get ready and go see if we can't set those posts get those concreted in and get ready to start building that platform for the Earth oven, right? Yeah, but we gotta do my joke first. Listen, I promise it won't be as corny as it was the last time. I think I might have gotten a better one. Give me a oh, one. that's so funny. <laughs> Stop. What should you do if you're attacked by a group of clowns? Anyone know? Punch, you go punch him in the nose? No, you go straight for the juggler. <laughs> I'll do one more. A cement mixer and a prison bus crashed on the highway. Police advise citizens to look out for a group of hardened criminals. <laughs> okay. That was kind of stupid. Oh, well. it was... <laughs> like this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, I... stay tuned. Okay, that's enough. As you all can see, we have uh, several different projects going on around here. My husband and dad are behind me. They are getting the bark off the logs so that we can set them. And then I am going to plant the three tomatoes that I talked about earlier. So I think Red Chevy, I'm gonna put him up front here. So I'm gonna leave him to the side. And I'm gonna use this Sweet 100. We're all taking turns at this because it's about 90% humidity and pretty tough bark on this tree. Okay, you guys remember, um, what was it, a couple of videos ago? Yeah. I showed you how to start a fire. So I need to start one to burn these logs right here because I'm fixing to put those in the hole and cement them. So we're going to test out Jennifer's fire making skills. Now the wind is blowing but she should still be able to do it. So right there's the fire starter kit and she already collected her fuel. She remembered that. So we will see if I need to help her.
you did it without matches or a big lighter. <laughs> She's going to want one of those to go in her purse from now on. There you go. Lay that off to the side. I have to give that water time to soak in. Okay. Oh, hey, what are we doing? I'm just stacking wood over here. One of our neighbors, every time that you would see her, she'd say, well, hey, what are we doing? 
what we doing. Uh, that's a slang term here, and we'd just always say, oh, nothing, or cleaning the kitchen. So I'm going to say I'm putting up wood. And the black snake isn't visible today. Oh my goodness, we are absolutely worn out. I know Wait. it doesn't seem like that we got hardly anything done today, but the humidity was so high and then stripping the bark off of these, this tree, I don't know. It, this one didn't come off easy. I know that the sap is up, but um, for some reason it was tough getting it off. And the, the blade is relatively sharp, so I mean, I do need to sharpen it again, but um, there were certain portions where it just peeled right off, but then there was others where it didn't. But we did get those uh, two logs set in the ground, got the other two cut, ready to go. The next thing I'm going to do is start framing for that pedestal to set the, uh, build the foundation to start putting the oven on there. But, um. We cooked Nathan's all beef hot dogs. In case you didn't know, that's his favorite. Um. We're tired. I got two ricks filled up and built under the woodshed. I found a spider. Screamed like a big sissy, thought it was a tarantula, but he was brown and black, so I guess yeah. he was a wolf spider. You know better, we don't have tarantulas here. Right? Well, I know, but to me, when he just popped out from nowhere, he was a tarantula. It was a wolf spider is what it was. Um, they are fairly big, but... Um, give me a snake any day that I know where he's at and we're good. Don't give me no spider. <laughs> so we thank you all for watching. We appreciate it very much. We hope that you have a great evening. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the outpost next time. See ya.